hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this video which will be a market review of the euro stock x50 we have uh, literally dozens of members now in our European nations and the UK Scotland Ireland uh, Germany and throughout Europe and one question that I'm asked almost every day what markets do I like to trade during the London session or would I trade so I thought I'd give a quick recap of trading the euro stock x50 a market that I was very very active in up till about uh, four or five years ago I would trade it every evening that is uh, the London session of course opens around 5 p.m. Australian time so it made it uh, a great market to trade if you like trading of an evening you had some fantastic uh, volume uh, uh, it was around back then it was around $14 uh, US per point uh, at today and, and by the way of euro, euro stock x50 is 10 euros a point and it moves in one point increments it doesn't really move in ticks if you like you can still call them ticks and currently that's around 1123 USD per point so there's some fantastic volume and as an example the volume today was around 2.4 million contracts so you're up there it actually today traded there were more contracts traded on the euro stock x50 than what there was on the uh, uh, ES so we saw some fantastic volume so I'd like to uh, really discuss that and just give you some ideas on trading the euro stock x50 uh, the trade station code by the way is FESX for those that uh, use trade station so let's have a look so first of all understanding the risk there is a risk in trading of course you don't trade with the rent money and you make sure you trade uh, once you've gained the right education a lot of what I'm about to cover is covered extensively in the day traders fast track program now if ladies and gentlemen if you haven't already subscribed to my channel uh, please do we've got a new website that's about to be launched we've got lots of lots more exciting goodies to give away with that we have more training videos coming out for the public etc for and bottom line is go to my website subscribe to the well first of all you can subscribe to the channel uh, right there on your screen if you haven't uh, already got my ebook please go to the my website request my ebook and even better still request information about the day traders fast track program where it's the most comprehensive day trading program in the world today and you'll understand once you see all the resources that you receive with it but anyway I don't want to make this a big advertisement let's get into this so uh, go to full screen or I'd recommend you go to full screen down the bottom right hand corner there if you click on that uh, down here You'll be able to go to full screen I'm just trying to get my little laser pointer up here to make it easier for you to see here and where are you come on up there you go so if you click on that you'll be able to go to full screen now I I pulled these out a couple of days ago for a new training video intro video I'm going to be doing and uh, this is going back gee where's a good 10 12 14 years ago when I was actually trading the euro stock x50 and um, uh, as I mentioned it was it's a great market I would trade every evening and uh, in actual fact uh, you can see uh, one of my daughters there I have by the way I got four girls three boys and 13 grandchildren so this is going back a fair way and you can even see down on the bottom right hand corner there um, so this is good 14 years ago whatever it is I can't remember exactly where I print my charts out I'd have them on the board but uh, we can see the trading you know, I uh, just had a winning trade and um, uh, my daughter was on my shoulders there we were celebrating but I do want to show you one drawback with trading now this is uh, me uh, pretty much about now and uh, you can see it's maybe go gray so one pullback of, of trading it will make you go gray over time so but uh, that was trading the euro stock x50 which is just a fantastic market now I moved away from that because I mainly got involved in trading with a fund and trading the ES and the NQ however we are reevaluating trading the and almost certainly we're going, to, we're going to start trading the euro stock x50 uh, during the London session again 
we're seeing some really nice ranges and what can actually happen at times with the euro stock x50 and we're looking at at the charts here now is you can get in some trading ranges but there are some optimum times which you can do really well and there's some great things I want to show you that work really well on this particular market so please um, persevere I'll only keep this to about 15 minutes so and for members I'm going to do a much uh, I'm going to do another recording for members by the way and I'll post it uh, on the drive later on today so what we've got traders here is the Eurostock X50 133 tick chart now I prefer tick charts over range uh, or volume I it's just something I've always traded with the euro stock is 50 and uh, once again uh, horses for courses what you feel comfortable with there's no right or wrong in the end as long as you're <laughs> you're gaining winning trades but here's what works really well is pivot bounces now we're looking back to uh, this is about last Thursday I think it was so we're going back a few days ago now so by the way it's uh, Tuesday morning it's the um, 13th of the 9th 2016 but uh, so the market opens unlike the NQ and the ES it uh, it does close off I think it's 6 a.m. my time and it reopens uh, at 5 p.m. so it closes uh, a little before the if I remember correctly uh, I never traded it all night your volume starts to dry up a little bit but it really fires up so there's what I call the pre-open the pre-market open in London so it's open an hour before it really kicks off and come 6 p.m. it really fires up so you can still get some good trades but for my members you can see what you've got your classic 34b your 34b you got your t1 look you got t2 t2 uh, but what I wanted to show you is you get some great pivot bounces and in my opinion your pivot bounces uh, are better earlier in the evening or earlier in the day for our uh, for our colleagues and our members that are in Europe than later in the day and uh, you can see here you, you run up to R1 now remember traders just as a as a reminder you tend to trade pivot to pivot unless of course you're in a trading range so always be aware of that but if you're heading towards a pivot just be prepared that you'll probably go up there and touch it or get very very close to touching the pivot once you tend to break through your R1 for an example your R2 and R3 they tend to be less reliable so your s1 your r1 are much more reliable you much more higher probability and of course when you're running off your standard floor pivot which is here and if you tend to and this isn't always true but it's a guide if you open above your floor pivot as we have here let me just try to scroll along a little bit here for you so this is our floor pivot if you open above you tend to go long if you open under you tend to be short so just be aware of it it's not always true but it's a guide and remember your R1 and R2 are your most reliable so I do really like your pivot bounces so you can see here you've got 34b you had another 34b so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's actually a 10 tick range there or point range there which of course is a hundred and nearly hundred and twenty dollars hundred and ten dollars just in that that move there now I like a generally speaking on the five sorry on the 133 tick I really like a five tick stop generally speaking maybe six uh, with the same target of course and if you're trading two contracts you'll let your second uh, uh, contract run maybe go to six to eight now see so you get a nice pivot bounce here now remember after you get a t20 as we've got here your t20s and t20 dash ones tend to be your highest probability or your best for a good run but you can see here we're coming down and bouncing off the uh, 89 here remember follow the gold follow your 34 now on the right hand side this is what I wanted to show you is uh, my anchor chart for this so I've got a 133 now I know a 133 isn't an exact fib number a fib number I think is 144 I'll use a 133 uh, and over here I have got a fib number here for the anchor chart which is a 377 so approximately three times so remember the general theory is traders 
if you have an entry here you want to be referring over and you can just see here uh, you want to be referring over to make sure that you are following the overall trade of your higher time frame of your anchor chart your AC which we can see here is happening now we then uh, we roll under we get our eight crosses under the uh, 21 under the 34 we then get a little bounce off the 89 we come up and we reflect off the 34 and we look over onto our anchor chart and what's happened of course we've had a total turnaround here now by the way here you've also got a t3 you can see price separation you get a really nice bounce so moving right along let's just have a look so this is last week and then we'll go and have a look at today where we saw some big um, volume now remember what I mentioned about pivots traders you can see here we've went long we bounced off the pivot what did I mention we tend to go down and head for the next pivot now one of the strategies of course you can have in targeting your next pivot is to have a trailing stop because what you don't want to do is if, if you do want to trade pivot to pivot as I know many traders like to do that you may want to have a trailing stop so you don't give it all back if it doesn't hit the pivot so you can see you've come down here you would have been stopped out up here but you can always re-enter with in mind that you're probably going to go down and test the floor pivot again which is exactly what happened here okay so we've gone along here we then had a let me just move this along for you we then had a t3 here okay there was a few ticks in that not a lot and you're looking over here on your anchor chart of course and here you've come up you've got a 34b but then you get some nice divergence and away you go you come up and remember you've actually got a nice t3 and remember you're always going to look over what is my anchor chart telling me my anchor chart is telling me we're still in a downtrend okay so you've got a nice short remember wait for your close under v8 and away you go now let's fast track to today so let's just go along there are just a ton of pivot trades last few days so let's just go and have a look here and the market okay so we can see here the market opened uh, this morning there was with some very very big volume today we saw as I mentioned earlier 2.4 million contracts of course last Friday we saw a very very uh, strong fall a big fall in the US stocks and we saw a very big fall on the Australian markets yesterday which then uh, we saw of course lots of action there on the European markets so you can see here we've opened up low now remember what I said if you tend to open up under your floor pivot it's a really good sign that potentially the market is going to fall not always true but it's just a guide so you can see here we opened up uh, Tuesday morning uh, sorry Tuesday Monday evening I should say which is uh, which is of course Monday morning London the follow-up after Friday's fall on Wall Street and we gapped right down in this particular case here we didn't fill the gap we've bounced around on the pivot here look at all of our uh, EMAs telling us uh, we're in a very strong downtrend and if we just go back on our anchor chart and you can see here we're heading down now by the way when we get gap downs your overall trend direction can be skewered it can be thrown out because you've had a big gap down after a weekend so that your EMAs aren't you just want to be more cautious so you can see here we've gapped down we've bounced around we then formed uh, a nice little t7 now remember traders you know I really like to you've got also by the way you've got some nice divergence there uh, you've had some t1s now by the way sorry t2s by the way if you're after uh, your five to six ticks you've had that delivered on all of these so you're already in the money well and truly in the money and if your target is uh, 200 a day per contract you're out and you finish for the day here uh, all wrapped up within an hour and ten minutes so moving along you to t7 with trend if you look over here you can see everything's heading down but as I said you just want to be more cautious after a weekend you can see here uh, uh, let's just move along here I want to show you you had then a, another nice counter trend t7 and this is as good as a pivot bounce and why did I put that up there last night okay and here we've got why is that the pivot was only two or three uh, ticks under this little 
double bottom and so that's as good as a pivot bounce so remember traders when you get a t7 a double bottom or a double top on a pivot okay uh, <laughs> I know I get a laugh out of some of you that's where really you consider putting the farm on it okay bet the farm because you usually do really well on those trades and by the way traders uh, uh, all jokes aside remember the risk parameter rules ideally 0.5 percent per trade maximum 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 risk no matter how high probability your trade is of two percent so moving along we had our nice little t7 t7 and you're once again you're looking over and uh, on your anchor chart and it's just playing up a little bit right now on me so moving along here you've got um, uh, trades firing off left right and center you've got of course a t1 with the trend you had up there you had a t2 and what we can see here is on the higher time frame you can just see these tests of the what was that that was the uh, r2 if I remember correctly sorry the s2 so uh, so you can see we're just bouncing off the lower pivot here continually moving along here you've got um, a t1 again a, a nice pivot bounce there pivot bounce again a t7 with the trend now remember right uh, this one last night took a while to actually deliver this was hovering around for ages and I was really wondering whether we were doing the right thing on that one and finally uh, and I think what was that that was about um, a good 30 minutes we we're in this little trading zone and we shorted off this divergence now traders uh, and particularly members you'll remember he, me saying this I love double tops or double bottoms with the trend particularly when you have divergence so we can see here on the anchor chart we've got a really good strong downtrend we can see we've gapped down of course the open of the day we are however on our entry chart you know sideways here and I was really considering exiting the trade here because I was getting quite worried but then it delivered really well so moving along here we can then see period of consolidation now when you start to get what I call these flat bottoms or flat tops this is where you want to just be you know th these are really good little areas of support and resistance you want to be aware of and you can see here all of these now this doesn't look like much of a move by the way but when you've got these uh, and let's just go to the the anchor chart so you're looking at this thinking okay what do I do here you can see here it looks like we're in an uptrend we can see our 89 our 34 our 21 our 8s all trending up but look over onto your anchor chart and then you get an 89b okay so just a, a bit of a signal now remember you're using your anchor chart for trend direction not for trade entries but for trend direction and we can see here we've still technically got a, a downtrend here so I've covered uh, a lot of information here traders uh, in this and we can see here we got there almost to pivot bounce finally we break through then later in the day I've probably mentioned I think I mentioned earlier your pivot bounces tend to become less reliable but you can see here we formed a what have we got there we've got a t7 with the trend again okay you got a 200b and this is the on the 200b here you've got uh, a t7 virtually that double bottom which members we've spoken about previously your 89b and then of course uh, we're heading towards the end of the whoops let me just drop this down for you uh, the close of the New York session so traders that hopefully is giving you a little bit of a, a rundown or a taste of the potential there of the euro stock x50 so if you're an early riser in the US a very early riser uh, the Euro, Euro stock X50 is a fantastic market I mentioned earlier I really like tick charts now uh, one thing also uh, with that if the market is slow I like also the 89 tick so the 133 will be your staple tick chart you would use maybe if you're really are into fib numbers maybe you want to jump up to 144 if the market is slow use the 89 now you can also of course use a combo your 89 uh, tick for your entries uh, using a guide of 133 to 144 then your 377 as your anchor chart so traders uh, once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, 
one I also offer for potential members looking at joining us I also offer a complimentary 20 minute Skype session if you'd like to talk to me personally about uh, day trading the markets either Forex stocks or futures and as most of you are aware we've got the new website coming up uh, it's very very close now and of course uh, our live trading room is going to be launched uh, not long after the website up in four weeks so exciting time so uh, look forward to seeing you on my next recording